Hello everyone and welcome back to a let's play of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire on the PC with your host Invalid. Where we last left off, we had actually started to enjoy ourselves in this really haphazard design game. Um, again, I'm seeing a lot of the potential that was put into this game and the flawed, very flawed execution. But it's actually becoming fun. Unlike the third game. I'm actually really starting to enjoy myself despite everything. And I think most of what we did, I think all of what we did in the last episode actually was explore the Hogwarts exterior. And in the first episode, what we did was we went to the original beginning level and then we did the Defense Against the Dark Arts classes. So I'm going to go ahead now and actually jump into the challenges of Moody, our Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher for this year. Use Avafors to defeat ten bug bog or dug bogs as quickly as you can. Uh huh. So there's a levitation challenge, which should be Professor Flitwick, because he's the charms guy. Moody's the dark arts guy. I don't know why they're mixing all this up with just Moody. Exploding cauldrons, Bubo tuber fling, tower blocks, and that's it. Okay. I see. So it almost looks like the challenges are optional. Huh. And the more shields we collect, the more Triwizard shields we collect. Okay, so they've renamed them entirely. The more shields we collect, the more levels we can unlock. Okay. Alright, let's go to Muda's Challenges and try out this first one. See what happens. Um, since I played Hermione in the last episode and actually did get her character card, I'm going to be playing as Ron this time around. So he can get all the beans and finish out his first, um, his first set of cards. Okay, that all looks good. Axio. I really don't care about the magic Magicus Extremos. I'm just going to go ahead and... What kind of creature cards does she have? She has... Okay, so the creature cards are shared. Good to know. Okay. I could get another Axio card if I so desired. I don't really care... You know, I say I didn't care about the uh, Magicus Extremos, but then both of these cards are like... It seems like all the character cards are just Extremos boosters. Really. So... Yeah, maybe I'll stick with the one I have there, for now. That's the Friendship card. And then with Ron... He has Transfigured Jinx. We don't have the... Uh, What's it card for him yet? We'll put on a Jinx card. Okay. So I think he still gets an advantage against Doug Boggs. It just gives him extra power since he has this one Transfigured Jinx card. Now here's the other question. Do these stack? If I go to Creatures... It doesn't stack. Good to know. Alright, I'll just keep on the creature advantage then. Give me back advantages then.
know, it'd be nice if I knew how to cast Abacores. I just realized. Yeah, I have no idea how to cast these different spells. One thing's for sure, we're getting plenty of beans. Go ahead and collect all the beans. We actually cast an Abel Force. I really wish I knew how to cast the different spells, because it's not really explaining that. I feel like it's literally a game of luck. Ow. Would you not stand still, Ron, please? I have no idea. I have literally no idea how to cast this. the bullet. Yeah, I feel like it's completely random what spells you cast. I have no idea how it works. Oh, jeez. There we go, jeez. No, that was shitty. I have zero idea. 
how to selectively cast any of these spells aside from when Guardian Lift. The charm spells make sense. Because it's, it's situational. Carpe Retractum on things that need to be retracted. When Guardian Leviosa on things that need to be lifted. And then the Aqua Ex. Erupt. Air something. For things that are on fire. It's simple as that. But I have no idea how to do the jinxes. How to choose between them. There must be a way, because otherwise it wouldn't have ridiculous challenges like that. But, I don't know. So, we're going to go back to exploring the Hogwarts exterior, because screw the challenges until I figure out how to do that. Maybe some of you guys have, have uh, explanations in the comments. Because I clearly have no idea what I'm doing. Alright. Back again, eh? And there are still several shields to collect. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, and the beams actually run away from you. If you don't have Axio cast, which is really freaking stupid. Ugh. Okay, so we took the down path before. This next creature interesting. Interesting? Interesting? There's no why not to be good! Oh, quit freaking out, Ron. Oh! Hello. Let's take care of these beams first before anything else happens. Did that gargoyle move? Don't be silly. Why wouldn't it move, Hermione? Come on. Is anyone else as smoked as I am? Not really. Okay. Carpe retracted. Okay, I'm gonna need at least one other person to help me out here, but it's probably gonna be three, hopefully. Carpe retracted. Uh, Hermione? Okay, for some reason Hermione's not going to help. No. Really? Watch out for the dogs. I'm trying to. You guys going to help? Okay. That's interesting. He suddenly has a pumpkin head. Uh huh. So it gives us multiple avenues for taking care of these guys. That is the wrong thing. There we go. You gonna help out, Harry? No? Okay. No, he's just gonna stare at his wand. <laughs> okay, so there's a mini shield. So what's over in this corner? Nothing. Okay. I wonder if I can actually hit this guy from here. What the? There's more of those things. I'm trying to remember what they're called. You not gonna? Okay, I guess that one just can't be activated at all. Whoa. Oh god, there's more of them. You guys wanna help? Ow. Ow. 
Harry, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, it's a chicken. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't too bad, I guess. Oh, wow, I didn't realize how much Ron was hurting, jeez. <laughs> Okay, so for some reason I can't hit it if I'm right up next to it, which is weird. Is it done? Yeah, it's done. Okay. So since that's apparently the case, I'm going to go back and get this one other clay goblet over here. See, what is with the beans clipping through everything? That's so stupid. It's actually dumb. Why would they do that? Oh, hello. Aqua Eructo, that's what it was, okay. Aqua so what is this gonna do? Axio! You know, I have to say, there's a lot of rubble around Hogwarts for it being such a... I'm just gonna leave them there. Okay, so we got... Ooh, hi. Ow. Oh, God. Help. Yeah, you guys take care of those. Okay, here we go. There's still more? I have no idea. Okay. So, what else is there around here? There's no path over here. So, is there anything over here? There is. A little dragon statue. And there's another mini shield over there. But how would we get to it? Oh, this is how. I thought dog bugs were bad enough. Most yeah, those little guys are pretty bad. I know they're introduced in the fourth book. I can't remember what they're called though. Can't we get out of here? You need to stop worrying so much, Ron. I think he's plenty entitled to worry. He has 17 health right now. Whoop! That was dumb. Can you? Thank you. Good job, you guys. Click the initiative. Okay, so is there anything else around here? Okay, apparently so. Doesn't look like we can do anything with these pillars, it's just right there. Ooh! Oh, come on! Uh, I could have figured it wasn't going to be that easy. How do we end up over here? This is not where we got knocked down, and this is not where the cutscene happened. Oh god. Ron's going to die. Whoa. Yo. 
Jeez Louise. Ow! Camera, it would be nice if you would work with me. Oh my god. It would also be nice if Ron can get stuck on stuff. I can't do anything because I can't see anything. This is actually stupid. Yeah, the issues with this game become glaringly obvious when there's combat. Like, all the enemies are over there, and I can't see them because the camera is deciding to pan on the frickin' shield. And Ron's out. And Harry's out! Jeez, that was way too difficult. And for the wrong reasons. That was not difficult for the right reasons. That was difficult for the wrong reasons. See, I literally can't see where everybody else is. This is so dumb. Oh, the camera is just so bad in this game. Oh, God. So, fingers crossed that we don't actually have to do the challenges. Because if we do, that's going to get super frustrating, because it doesn't give any information about how to cast things specific. About how to cast specific spells when you want to. It just gives you Axial Button, Jinx Button, and then Charm Button. <sighs> okay. So, the combat in this game absolutely sucks. <laughs> Other than that, it's great. That's all I have to say. The combat really... Oh, God. It's so bad. And not for the, not because it's difficult for the enemies. It's because it's for how terrible the camera is. And that so many things are based around the camera. Like, what you can cast charms on. You can't cast a charm on anything unless you have it in, in view of the camera. Which 90% of the time, the enemies aren't. Ugh. Ooh, friendship. Okay, so now we can get all of these cards. Reduces the number of beans that Ron drops when he's hurt. That's interesting. Okay, then. So, does Hermione have another list? She does. Herbology? Hermione's control of Herbivicious is increased for a short time. Yeah. I think I prefer the stamina. Actually, doesn't she doesn't really need that considering. So let's go for let's try out the no, not the Axio. Let's try out the Herbology. And now we'll just buy the rest of the cards. Oh, I don't have enough. Never mind. I can get the Axio and the... Um... The Axio cards, though. So that's good. Alright. Whoops, not what I wanted. Oh, we can get creature cards. That would've been nice to know. See, okay. That's kind of cool. So we can see all the different cards that we can get against different creatures. So, is there any way for us to equip specific cards or Oh, 
I guess we only unlock them as we fight them more. All quest cards. Collect the vanishing card in Hogwarts exterior. We never actually found a card. Okay. So I guess we have more exploration to do. Yeah, this location isn't completed yet. Good to know. Holy cow, we are missing a lot of those um, partial shields. Dang. We got most of the other stuff, though. So that's not too bad. Okay. So this seems more like a collectathon, but it actually somewhat plays that to its advantage. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, in the next one, we are going to be going into the Forbidden Forest and probably backtrack to the Hogwarts exterior again just to find those little extra thingies. Like the mini shields and whatnot. So, until then, have a wonderful day, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, and bye for now.